Hello students, in the previous video I explained what is the meaning of limit and in this video I will explain the definition of the limit of a function. The definition says like this, if as x tends to a, f of x tends to l, here the arrow mark means tends to a, f of x tends to l then L is called limit of the function f of x which is symbolically written as limit x tends to a f of x is equal to L. Now I will take one more example and uh, to understand better let us take this example. You take a sigma function f of x is equal to 1 when x is greater than 0, 0 if x equal to 0 and minus 1 if x less than 0 and you have the idea of this function and uh, what is limit extending to 0 plus f of x here 0 plus means greater than 0 slightly greater than 0 but anyhow it is positive when x is positive what is f of x f of x is 1 therefore what is limit extending to 0 plus f of x 1 and uh, limit extending to 0 minus f of x 0 minus means slightly less than 0 and when it is less than 0 what is f of x f of x is minus 1 therefore limit extending to 0 minus f of x equal to minus 1 what is f of 0 f of 0 is equal to 0 now you can observe here limit extending to 0 plus is different and limit extending to 0 minus f of x is different and f of 0 is different and for the same function instead of taking at the point x equal to 0 let us take a limit extending to 1 plus f of x here limit extending to 1 plus f of x means positive because 1 is positive 1 plus is also positive and uh, limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to 1 and what is limit extending to 1 minus here just observe 1 minus means if you take a number slightly less than 1 then also it is positive therefore limit extending to 1 minus f of x is also equal to 1 and what is f of 1 f of 1 is 1 now in all these illustrations the value which the function should assume at a given point x equal to a did not really depend on how is x tending to a. Now note that there are essentially two ways x could approach a number a either from left or from right. If x is approaching a then it is possible to approach from the left side or right side of a. That is all the values of x near a could be less than a or it could be greater than a and uh, this naturally leads to two limits one is called right hand limit and the other is called left hand limit right hand limit of a function f of x is that value of f of x which is dictated by the values of f of x when x tends to a from the right side similarly the left hand limit that means from the left side of a we say limit extending to a minus here we represent like this limit extending to a minus f of x is the expected value of f at x equal to a given the values of f near to x to the left of a as x approaches to a from the left side of a and this value is called left hand limit of f at a similarly we say that limit extending to a plus here you observe limit extending to a plus f of x is the expected value of f at x equal to a given the values of f near x to the right of a this value is called right hand limit of f at a now if the right hand and left hand limits 
coincide we call that common value as the limit of f of x at x equal to a and it is denoted by limit x tends to a f of x you read it as limit x tends to a f of x and this is the meaning of limit of the function here the limit x tends to a f of x exist means the left hand limit and right hand limit coincide now let us go through some standard formulae and which are very simple you have to apply these formulae to solve the problems let f and g be two functions such that both limit x tends to a f of x and limit x tends to a g of x exist then the first rule is like this limit of sum of two function is sum of the limits of the functions that is limit x tends to a f of x plus g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f of x plus limit x tends to a g of x and the limit of difference of two function is difference of the limits of the functions that is limit x tends to a f of x minus g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f of x minus limit x tends to a g of x and the third rule is limit of product of two function is product of the limits of the functions that is limit x tends to a f of x into g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f of x into limit x tends to a g of x and uh, fourth rule is quotient of two functions limit of quotient of two function is quotient of limits of the function whenever the denominator is non zero that is limit x tends to a f of x divided by g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f of x divided by limit x tends to a g of x and uh, in particular as a special case of 3 when g is a constant function such that g of x equal to lambda for some real number lambda we have limit x tends to a lambda into f of x is equal to lambda into limit x tends to a f of x now just to go through this important result limit of polynomials and rational function a function f is said to be a polynomial function of degree n if f of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus so on an x power n where ai is r real number such that an is not equal to 0 for some natural number n now let us take some simple polynomials and find the limit of the function for example if i want to find limit of x tends to 1 2x plus 3 just here x tends to 1 is there you have to put x equal to 1 here what you will get that is equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 what is 2 into 1 plus 3 that is equal to 5 and this is the limit of the function and if i take the limit x tends to 2 x square plus 2x plus 1 what happens you see here put x equal to 2 here what you will get 2 into 2 2 square plus 2 into 2 plus 1 2 square is 4 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. This is the limit of the function. And in general, f of x is a polynomial. Then you can find the limit of the function very easily. The value of the function at x equal to a itself the limit of the polynomial function. This result you should know. And similarly, when it is a trigonometric function, you can find limit very easily. similar to this what is limit x tends to 0 cos x 
and limit extending to 0 cos x is equal to cos 0. What is the value of cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. Therefore, the limit of this is equal to 1. Limit extends to 0 cos x equal to 1. Limit extends to pi by 4 tan x is equal to tan pi by 4. What is the value of tan pi by 4? tan pi by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, limit extending to pi by 4 tan x equal to 1. Like this, you can find the limit of the polynomial functions and the trigonometric functions. And uh, when it is a combination of that, that is some difference, quotient of the function or product of the function, you can apply the rules of the limits and hence you can find the limit of the function. If you want to find the limit of limit of extending to 1 x plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 and it is a quotient of two polynomials and that is equal to limit of numerator divided by limit of denominator that is equal to limit extends to 1 x plus 1 divided by limit extends to 1 x square plus 2 and what is limit extends to 1 x plus 1 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 and what is limit extends to 1 x square plus 2 1 square plus 2 is equal to 3 and the answer is 2 by 3 just you have to remember this result if you take a polynomial function limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a the value of the function itself the limit of the function when the given function is a polynomial function and uh, you can apply the rules of limits to find the limit of the sum product or quotient of two polynomials or two functions and with this much i'll conclude this video in the next video let us solve some numerical questions. Thank you.